Before the opening bell, U.S. indices, they closed lower on Thursday, pressured by shares in automobiles and components, semiconductors and semiconductor equipment, as well as energy sectors. Now, on the economic docket, durable goods orders increasing 2% month over month in June. Initial jobless claims falling to 206,000 in the week ended July 20th. Wholesale inventories rising 0.2% month over month in June. This all as 71% of S&P 500 constituents traded lower Wednesday. Now, after the markets closed, Amazon.com posting second quarter EPS of $5.22 compared with $5.07 a year ago on net sales of $63.4 billion. Alphabet reporting second quarter EPS of $14.21 on revenue minus TAC of $31.71 billion. T-Mobile U.S. posting second quarter EPS of $1.08 compared with $0.96 cents the previous year on revenue of $11 billion, while Starbucks posted third quarter EPS of $0.78 cents versus $0.67 cents a year ago on revenue of $6.82 billion. Meanwhile, turning overseas, Asian markets mostly lower today. The New Nikkei down 0.45%, the Hang Seng down 0.69%, China CSI 300 up 0.19%, South Korea's Kospi down 0.4%. European markets edging higher and futures calling for a slightly positive start. Now in terms of expectations today, McDonald's, Charter Communications, Abvi, Colgate, Palmolive and Allergan all scheduled for release. While on the economic dock at 8.30 in the morning we have the second quarter GDP price index quarter over quarter advanced as well as the second quarter PCE prices also advanced. Taking a look at the markets the S&P 500 is where we begin. That sees caution. The Nasdaq also sees caution, but that's in focus. The relative strength index mixed and calling for caution. The short positions below 80.32 are favored with targets at 79.84 and 79.39 in extension. While the Dow Jones sees 26,980 in sight.